Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lydia. And if you're one of my amazing returning subscribers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing Le Monde Gourmand Fruit de Dragon. So if you guys want to learn more about this juicy fragrance, go ahead and stay tuned. Now you guys, this was one of those rare occasions where I actually purchased a fragrance in store. On Black Friday, me and my sister ended up going into Nordstrom Rack. That store was beyond ran through and I literally didn't find anything else that I wanted and I actually found this fragrance while I was in the checkout line. And since the line was extremely long, I just decided to like pick stuff up and look at those little miniatures that they usually have in the checkout line. And I came across this fragrance. I've purchased Le Mans Gourmand fragrances in the past and I was not totally a fan of them. I forgot the ones that I tried, but they really just smelled like every other fruity floral fragrance and it wasn't really anything special to me. So I really wasn't expecting much when I picked up this fragrance. But since these fragrances don't come in boxes, I was able to just get one of the little samplers and spray it and see how it smelled. And you guys, I was in shock when I smelled this fragrance. It is just so juicy. But this is what the bottle looks like up close. So as you guys see, it has a pretty basic bottle design. There's really nothing too special going on with it. It's very sleek and minimalist, which is fine. But let's go ahead and get into the actual details of this fragrance. Now this fragrance was actually launched in 2015, so it has been around for a minute. And I purchased this fragrance in a 3.4 ounce. I'm pretty sure there's only two sizes of this fragrance. And I'm pretty sure the smallest is a one ounce. For this bottle, I ended up paying about $28 for it. In the top notes of this fragrance, there's guava and pineapple juice. In the middle notes, there's kiwi. And I'm pretty sure there's dragon fruit in there as well. And in the base, there's coconut flakes. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a spray and let you guys know what it smells like. You guys, this fragrance is literally nothing but pure juice. As soon as you spray it, you get a lot of the guava, but mainly the pineapple juice note in here. You're also able to get just a hint of the kiwi notes as well. But then as this fragrance dries down on your skin, you're also able to smell those coconut flakes, which for a fragrance that is this fruity and almost like tropical fruit-like, I feel like the coconut flakes really complement this fragrance well as a base note. I can't see this fragrance having a base note that's like musk or even white musk or even amber. I feel like the coconut just suits this fragrance perfectly. And earlier I mentioned that I did purchase this fragrance on Black Friday so I have had it for quite some time. And I've also been able to wear it a lot. And on my skin, I kind of feel like it wears like a body spray and not a perfume, but a body spray that's on the stronger side. I can get a good four to five hours out of this fragrance before it starts to die down, which I guess isn't terrible. If I'm traveling or I just want to be able to keep this fragrance on me, I might just put it in a little atomizer so that I can refresh it when I would like to because this fragrance smells like pure fruit. And you guys, lately I have really been looking for fragrances that are different and unique and for me fragrance wise over the spring and the summer I just want to smell like a fruit cocktail and maybe a little bit of vanilla on the side every now and then so I've really been looking for fragrances that have brighter juicier notes in them and with this fragrance I literally feel like I hit the jackpot I am not kidding when I say it smells like pure juice. Like if you walk into like a juice bar or something like that and they're blending up guava and pineapples and kiwis and maybe just sprinkle a little bit of coconut flakes in there. That's literally what this fragrance smells like. And it's kind of rare for fragrances when you're able to smell every note that's in them. So I am beyond pleased with this fragrance. Even though I did purchase this during the winter months, 
I do not feel like this fragrance is for the fall or winter at all. But this is definitely something that's more suited for the warmer months. I mean, this is just so juicy. This is the type of fragrance that you would want to put on if you're going to sit by the pool or you're taking a nice vacation somewhere really warm and beachy. This would definitely be the perfect beach scent. And so far, I don't have any beach trips planned yet. But when I do make those plans, this is definitely going to come with me. Hey you guys, after smelling this fragrance, I think I'm going to give Le Mans Gourmand a second chance because they have so many perfumes, it is not even funny. I told you guys I purchased this from Nordstrom Rack, but it is a few dollars cheaper on Amazon, so I will have this fragrance linked in my Amazon storefront below. But overall, if I had to rate this fragrance, I would definitely give it a 9. So if any of you guys are fruit lovers, all you want to smell like is juicy fruit with a hint of coconut, this is definitely a fragrance that y'all need in your collection. Even if you're not totally like a fruity type person, I feel like this is a fragrance that might change your mind. Yeah, as I mentioned, I will have this fragrance linked in my Amazon storefront below. And if any of you guys have tried Fruit de Dragon by Le Mans Gourmand, let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section. And also, if you have tried any of the other Le Mans Gourmand fragrances, I also want to know what you guys think about them as well as get like some new recommendations or fragrances that I should try next. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and as always, I hope to see all of you guys next time. Bye.